File Explorer is one of the built-in applications in Microsoft Windows and is used for managing files. This is a really powerful tool to customize your browsing experience, manage your files more efficiently, and overall just get the most out of your Windows experience. It has also its drawbacks, for instance it doesn't show two file panels, but it delivers quite much anyway. In this video we will go through the customization options available in the View menu in File Explorer. Starting from the left of the View menu, we have the Navigation pane options. Clicking on this drop-down you see options to show or hide the navigation pane or expand it to open folders. For instance, if you are working on the project and want to quickly jump between folders, uh, you want to ensure that navigation pane is checked and then select Expand to open folder. Now, as you navigate through your folders, the navigation pane will automatically expand to show your path. Next, we have the Preview pane and Details pane options. If you want to view more information about a file or a quick preview without opening it, these panes are your friends. Click on Preview pane and select a file. You'll see a quick preview of the file on the right. Similarly, clicking on Details pane will show you detailed information about the selected file, like its size, type and date modified. Please be very careful with using the Preview pane option. As much as it's functional, it is also risky because in order to display the preview of the file, Windows has to open it in the background. There have been cases where hackers prepared files in such a way that you didn't even have to open them to get infected. It was enough to see the preview of the file. Now let's move to the layout options. This is where you can change how your files and folders are displayed in the file explorer. You have options like extra large icons, large icons, medium icons, small icons, list, details, tiles and content. If you're browsing through a folder full of photos, the extra large icons or large icons view could be very helpful to get a quick preview of your images. For a directory full of documents, the details view can give you more information about each file at a glance, like the date the file was modified. The Group By and Sort By options give you more control over how your files are organized. Let's say you have a folder with a mix of different file types. You can use the Group By option to group files by their type, making it easier to find what you're looking for. Similarly, you can use the Sort By option to sort files by name, date, modify, type or size. The Add Columns option is especially useful when you're in the Details view. For example, if you are in a folder with music files, you might want to see more information about each file like the duration or the artist. By clicking on Add Columns, you can choose to add these details to the view. If you've added several columns and they don't fit in the window, you can use the Size All Columns to Fit option. This will automatically adjust the width of all columns so they fit in the current window. The item checkboxes, file name extensions and hidden items options are very useful for managing your files. By enabling item checkboxes you can easily select multiple files. When you hover over a file a checkbox appears next to it. Just check the boxes for the files you want to select. You can then perform operations like copy or cut on all the selected files. File name extensions will show or hide the extensions of files. This can be particularly useful when dealing with multiple file types and you need to differentiate between them. Seeing file extensions can also be a way to lower the risk of getting attacked through files attempting to be of a different type. There have been cases where attackers prepared files that looked for instance like pictures, but in reality were malicious scripts. If users didn't have file extensions visible, it was more difficult for them to see through it. Hidden items will reveal any hidden files or folders in your directory. Be careful with this, as these are usually system files that should not be tampered with unless you know what you're doing. But sometimes you may have to enable this option, for instance if you want to clean some folders where there are hidden files created by some applications. You can also hide files yourself. Just mark them, or select them if you have enabled item checkboxes, and click on Hide Selected Items. If you then have the Hidden Items option disabled, these files will not be visible in the File Explorer. 
to unhide them, first mark hidden items and then mark the files you want to unhide and click on the hide selected items button again. Finally, at the very right of the view menu, we have the options button, which opens up the folder options dialog box. Here you can make more detailed adjustments to how File Explorer works, like changing what happens when you double click on a file or choosing whether to open each folder in the same window or a new window. For instance, if you're working with multiple folders, you may want each one to open in a new window. Click on Options, go to the General tab and under Browse Folders select Open each folder in its own window. That was a quick overview of the view menu in File Explorer in Windows 10. As you can see, there is a lot of power in this menu that can help you customize your browsing experience and manage your files more efficiently. Remember that key to mastering File Explorer is to experiment with different settings and find what works best for you. So don't be afraid to explore these options and tweak them to your liking. By doing that, you will become more efficient managing your files and you'll also be able to find them in a faster way. We hope that this video has given you a good overview of the view menu in File Explorer. Be sure to check our other videos to learn more about various Office applications.